The 2018 Grammy nominations are in, and it's safe to say that hip hop has happened to this year's Grammy. For top awards like Song of the Year and Record of the Year, which was once dominated by rock, has now been replaced by artists like Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, and Childish Gambino. Jay Z and Kendrick Lamar top the list with the most nominations, and Cardi B continues her glow up streak by being the only female rapper nominated for Best Song of the Year and Best Rap Performance. But the real spotlight goes to DMV's own Gold Link, who is in the running for Best Rap Sung Performance for his breakout single, Crew, featuring Baltimore native Brent Fayez and DC's own Shy Glizzy. Logic is also up for two Grammy Awards, including Song of the Year and Best Music Video for 1-800-273-8255. I caught up with a few music lovers to see who they thought were going to take home this year's awards. Take a look. One episode at a time, I'm here to bring back the balance of media by entertaining and inspiring. You don't want to miss a beat when Tula talks. Despacito. Yeah, see? I ain't even gonna lie, I don't speak a lick of Spanish. But girl, when that song come on, I'm a señorita. You have no idea. I think it's going to go to 444 because of the saga that we've been going through with Lemonade and A Seat at the Table and just that whole narrative of did he cheat? Bruno Mars is definitely hot, so I definitely feel like Song of the Year will go to Bruno Mars, That's What I Like. Unfortunately, it might go to That's What I Like, and only unfortunately because I've heard it so many times. I think for record of the year, to be honest, I really think it's going to be Bruno Mars' 24 karat because that's all you really heard. I personally want it to be Kendrick Mars' Humble. I think it'll either be between Despacito or 24K, just because that those two songs were like very big this year. Those two songs took over radio, but I hope for the culture that it goes to Kendrick because it's necessary. Honestly, I think 24 Karat is magic is gonna take it. I think it's gonna win. But if I had to give it out, be humble. Sit down, hey. I definitely think Kendrick Lamar's Humble will definitely win record of the year. Um, In terms of how I think that the Grammys operate, I'm pretty sure that this is going to go to Despacito no matter what. Statistically, Despacito was like the biggest song that ever happened to music. But in terms of how Jaina Jefferson wants it to go, I would love this honor to go to Humble. Well, album of the year, hopefully it's not a, a snug because for some reason, I just think Bruno Mars is gonna walk away like a champion, man. It really should be damn. For like the album of the year should be Kendrick Lamar damn. And people will argue that it should be 444 just because that's one of Jay-Z's most personal albums and I do understand it because he responded to the whole him cheating on Beyonce the whole Kanye West situation just everything that we wanted Jay-Z to talk about he spoke about it but Kendrick Lamar is humble just the, the way that he put it together and you can play that album backwards let's not forget that if I had to pick one album for album of the year it's it's going to damn I think that you need to give Kendrick his things it's time for Kendrick to have his things, and this was the album that showed us that he is not to be touched today. Honest, I really feel like it's gonna go to Jay-Z. And honestly, I think it should go to Jay-Z. I, I definitely think Kendrick Lamar's Damn will definitely win album of the year. I mean, the boy is hot, you know. I don't really see him going anywhere anytime soon. Kendrick better take home album of the year, okay? Because I believe that Damn is the best produced like rap album that I've heard in a long time. Now I would say it should go to Jay-Z for 444, but he's it's almost to the point where a good Jay-Z album is expected and if it's not good, I'm going to be upset. So it's like 444 was absolutely great. He gets that credit. He gets his credit all the time, but I honestly think it needs to go to Kendrick just because of what he's done for the culture. Best new artist is going to SZA. If it doesn't, I'm going to the Grammys, and I'm going to present the award to her myself. Because
SZA definitely had a nice year, and I don't want to be biased. Khaled was good too. Definitely had his moments, but if I'm gonna pick new artists, I'm gonna definitely go with SZA. You know, I'm pro SZA. Keep it up. Keep giving the side girls a voice. Girl, uh, best new artist better go to SZA. SZA is a goddess right now, okay? Best new artist, SZA. I see you, SZA TDE, what's up, top dog? Yeah, SZA. I think they're gonna give it to Alessia Cara. She should have won years ago, but I would like to see SZA win. That goes to the, the, the little boy, the young kid on the block, Khalid, location. Cause everybody was like, send me your location. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's gonna be location. To Khaled, uh, location. Definitely a bumper. I think it's going to go to That's What I Like, just because I it has that crossover success. I think it was number one on the charts um, for top 40, like on the billboard. And I think it was also number one for a long time for the hot R&B songs as well. And I love Redbone because I feel like it's a classic. Like I feel like my grandmother listens to that and absolutely loves it. And it's almost, it's kind of timeless. Best rap performance, that's not even a question. Cardi B is life. <laughs> Bodak Yellow better take it. There's not even a question about it. I mean, there's not a person in the world who don't know the words to Bodak Yellow. My mama know Bodak Yellow, okay? Well, I wasn't left all bad and bougie. <sighs> Offset and Cardi just might be fighting for this one. Um, I'm giving it to bad and bougie. The I bad. think I think that best rap performance is going to go to Humble because it was fantastic. But I would not be upset if Bodak Yellow won because I would like to see Cardi B <laughs> accept an award. But I would like to see Cardi B win that because she performed that song. Like she really did a great job. It was her I'm here moment. Gotta say bad and bougie. Yeah, so for best rap performance, that's definitely gonna go to Humble for me. She said, money all around me. Like, I'm the man. Ah, I'm definitely going with Crew. Crew is nominated for just one Grammy and best sung performance. It goes to Goling, Brim Fire, Shot Glizzy Crew. And the whole DMV is just going to say, ah, and they're going to play it in the club some more, man. Like, I haven't got tired of that song yet, to be honest with you. And it's just crazy. I get tired of songs, but that song is just a vibe. So they got it. Right, right now, if I got a vote and I have to choose, right now I choose crew. Just because one, I'm from the DMV. And two, because honestly, that song, that song is like the summer never ending. You know what I mean? It's like, it just feels like top down, windows open, we riding, cruising. And it's nonstop. And it's freaking 12 degrees outside. And I still feel like, so for me, best rap song performance will have to go to SZA and Travis. I remember the best rap song performance definitely has to go to Crew. Especially shout out to the area. I mean, I'm a Baltimore guy, but definitely shout out to DC. I think best rap song performance, I think, is going to go to Love Galore by SZA and Travis Scott. That's tough. I definitely feel like best rap song. Um, I definitely got to go with OJ. But because I'm loving Cardi B, man, and I'm loving where she's coming from, man, I definitely want to see her bring home something. So I definitely got to say Bodak Yellow. I think best rap song, honestly, is going to go to the story of OJ because it really speaks to the struggle of a lot of African Americans living in America. Um, no matter what you do, no matter how much success you achieve, you're always going to be looked at a certain way by certain people. And I think the parallel with the whole O.J. Simpson story, I think that it was told in a really beautiful way. And it's catchy. And that's going to win. I think it's going to win. Best rap song, of course. This one goes to Cardi B for Bodak Yellow because they play that song too freaking much all right and it was on every female snapchat on every female instagram all the lyrics everybody just had a whole cardi spasm for the first 
three, four seconds. And then when you have dudes singing that song, because I call myself a little bit too, when you... <laughs> I don't dance now. I make money moves. You know, it, yeah, no. Nah, it's definitely the best rap song. Cardi B, you got this. I really think that Humble is going to win because Bodak Yellow is great. And I want to see her win. I want to see her win for that song. Even though the story of OJ is so necessary and it's it's such an amazing song. But like I said, Jay-Z, you've been doing this for a while now. I'm here for it. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. But we need to give someone else a chance to win. So I would have to give it to Cardi B, Bodak Yellow. Man, I still have to go with Kendrick Lamar. Damn, best rap album of the year goes down. I'm just gonna go to Jay Z. Or my good rap too. But me personally, I got Kendrick. TDE. But I'm still gonna have to say damn. I, uh, I don't wanna say damn though. I wanna say 444. I really don't know if I can choose who I gotta choose. Best rap album Kendrick Lamar. Damn. I think it's going to go to 444. And I'm hoping it kind of does go to 444 because if it went to Damn, then I don't think that Damn would be winning Album of the Year. And that freaks me out because I don't want Kendrick to miss out on that opportunity again. But I think 444 was also a really incredible effort. Best rap album I would personally give to Damn because every track is outstanding. It's, it's a story. It is what rap music should stand for and should be about. I actually love Tyler, the creator, and his music and that album. I think he's very underrated, but I think he's for a certain crowd and a certain group of people, and one day, hopefully, his shine will come. But I have to give it to Damn, because it's damn good. Goddamn good.